Hello and welcome to the Band in a Box 2012 for Mac new features and new real tracks video. In this video, we'll check out some of the more than 50 great new features, including direct input guitars and using them with Amplitude, audio loops, adding MIDI tracks, simple real tracks options, easy selection of drum grooves, and many more. We'll also check out some of the fantastic new real tracks in real track sets 137 through 154. There are 101 new real track styles added, including this breezy jazz funk rhythm section and soloist. As is the case with everything you will hear in this video, everything you're hearing right now was created simply by entering chords like E flat major 7, C minor 7, B flat 7, picking the style, the tempo, and pressing play. All of this was done in less than a minute, and Band in a Box then created what you're hearing in seconds based on the chords. This includes all of the instruments you're hearing. Bass, drums, electric piano, electric guitars, and even the sax solo. And you can enter any chord progression in any key and you'll have this great band playing your chord progression. Before we look at some of the great new features, we'll check out some other fantastic reel tracks added in reel track sets 137 through 154. Here we have the Dixieland rhythm section and collection of soloists. The rhythm section set features drums, tuba, banjo, acoustic guitar, and piano. And the soloist set includes clarinet, trumpet, trombone, and acoustic guitar solos. The horns each have two separate soloists. The full-on soloists we're listening to here using the soloist medley feature, as well as background soloists which are great for using in a grand, multi-soloist extravaganza, like this. We have a new set of classic country soloists by Nashville legend Brent Mason. There are up-tempo soloists like Western Swing and Fast Even Eights, as well as classy slower soloists like this classic 12-8 groove. Again, everything you are hearing right now was created simply by entering these chords, picking the style and pressing play. And you can have Brent Mason soloing just like this over any chords you want to enter into Band in a Box. Here's one of our styles with piano great John Jarvis. This phenomenal player is included on three different sets, playing rock, blues, and country. By popular demand, we've included new classic bluegrass waltz styles.
brand new Texas blues rock styles with rhythm section instruments and soloists by Brent Mason and British blues prodigy Saul Philcox. There are many more great styles in Real Talk sets 137 through 154. But let's have a look at some of the exciting new features in Band in the Box 2012. Right now I have the double finger picking guitar Real Tracks demo playing. These double finger picking styles feature new acoustic guitar finger picking Real Tracks from Nashville legend Brent Mason. They are intended to be used in conjunction with our previously released finger picking styles to give a full blended sound. We'll use this demo to show another very handy new feature, easy selection of drum groups. In the past, for any given song, you generally had only two options for the drums, one for A sub styles and one for B. So for this song, we have a drum variation that plays side stick at A and open hi-hat with snare at B. If we wanted different grooves, we could pick a different variation, but we'd still be stuck with only two options per song. Now there's an easy way to select more than just the two within a song, making it much easier to really shape your song exactly the way you want it. I can now control click on any bar number and I see multiple possibilities for the drums, as well as a full description letting you know exactly what the drummer will be doing. So here I'll leave the side stick and hi-hat variation at bar 1, but then I'll select snare and hi-hat at bar 9. Then I'll pick snare and open hat at bar 17. And you can also see in the description exactly what the kick will be doing. And finally, a ride pattern at bar 25. Now let's give that a listen. So it's starting with the same side stick and hi-hat part. And it's now playing snare and closed hi-hat. And now it's switched to an open hat pattern. finally ride. So we've given our song a much more sophisticated dynamic shape. And in the real drums picker itself, the variations now have much easier to read names. And there are added full descriptions below, so you know exactly what you're going to get. And if you click the description, you can read it in full. Now let's learn a bit about the new loops feature. Loops are audio files, M4A, MP4, AIFF, or WAVE, that reside in the loops folder of the Realtracks folder. There are loops included with Band in a Box in Loop Set 1, and you can add your own files to this folder. Loop Set 1 includes 14 nature sound effects which work very well with our New Age MIDI styles. And it also includes seven percussion loops, which work very well with lots of real track styles in many different genres. Let's check out the tutorial folder to learn more about using loops. The tutorial BB2012 folder has many Ban in a Box files that demonstrate and describe the new features in Ban in a Box 2012. If you open the memo in these files, you can see the features described, and there are also great tips on how to get the most out of the new features. 
Let's open this file that uses some of the nature sound loops that are included in Band in a Box 2012. And this is the Thunder demo. We can see that this song has the Thunder audio loop assigned to a track. Also in the tutorial folder is an example of one of the percussion loops. This demo features the elect rock real track styles with a tambourine loop that has been put on the piano track. Now we'll try adding our own loop to a song. Real Track Set 147 features new organ and piano styles by jazz great Mike Ledun, and I'm going to load the demo for the Bossa New York Piano Trio. And we'll listen to a little bit of that. Now I'll control click on an unused track and select a loop I'll filter by percussion and I'd like to add the guirdo because this loop is included with Band in a Box, all of the information about the loop is already entered. The tempo is 124 beats per minute, and the loop is 16 beats long. To add your own loops, you would simply put your audio files into the Loops folder, and press Refresh, and the loop would appear in this area. The first time you use your loop, you would enter the info about the loop here. But after you do it once, that information would be saved for next time. I'll press OK. And play. And we now have added percussion to this bossa. I can adjust the volume so the mix is right. Now just for the fun of it, let's add a sound effect as well. I'll control click on another unused track. And so, for our song, how about birds chirping? Incidentally, you can also use pitched loops. Just enter the root note and you can have it transposed to match the key of the song, the chord root, or if it's a slash chord, the slash root, which would be good if it were a bass note, for example. But for this one, we won't have it transpose or stretch in any way. And I'll play again. And we now have birds twittering away, and it sounds like we're listening to a jazz band playing in a tropical resort. Right now we're listening to a bossa solo accompaniment guitar style from Real Track Set 148. These are understated but very elegant styles for backing up a singer or soloist and require no other rhythm section instruments. This set comes with four different styles, a 
slow and a fast bossa and a slow and a fast jazz waltz. With the superior stretching features in Ban in a Box, all tempos in between are therefore covered as well. We're going to use this file to demo the new MIDI tracks feature. You can now add MIDI tracks to your song from any MIDI style as easily as adding individual real tracks. So I'll control click on an unused track. Now for example, let's say you want to add MIDI strings to the strings track. I'll pick patch 49 strings as my instrument. And now I'll choose a style that has this instrument in it. So it's opened the style picker and all of these styles now have a MIDI strings instrument in them. I'm going to use the new simple filter feature to filter the list even further. I'll type bossa to filter the list to show only styles with bossa somewhere in the name or memo. And I'll pick bossa light. And we can see now that the strings part will be played in our song. I'll solo it for a second so you can hear it. Another way to use these MIDI tracks is to select from our presets of very useful MIDI tracks. I'll add a vibes part to the piano track. So I'll click the presets and I'll filter by vibes. And I'll pick this even eights one. And now I'll play and we'll see what it sounds like. Now when we were in the style picker, we saw the new easy to use simple filter, and we're now going to show you some of the enhancements to the advanced filter. There are now options to include or exclude styles with soloists, match tempo exactly. Now if this isn't selected, it will allow styles that are close to the tempo you enter, but if this is picked, it will only allow styles where the ideal tempo matches exactly. Real Tracks artists now list instrument names and genres of the players. Individual genres are listed. Time signatures have been added in the filter. Now let's use the filter and we'll pick styles with soloists. And we'll pick styles that have Paul Franklin, country pedal steel. And let's check out the demo for this western swing style. Now the style picker, whether or not you're using the filter, is a great place to find exactly what you need for your song. There are MIDI styles, real track styles, and styles that combine MIDI and real tracks together. There are thousands to choose from, but this can sometimes be a little bit daunting, especially for new users. So with Band in a Box 2012, we've introduced a new band button on the main screen. This has the most commonly used real track styles, or real styles, in the main genres, jazz, rock, and country. 
You can see when we click here that in the jazz category, there are straight ahead swing styles, bossas, smooth jazz, jazz waltzes. For country, there are bluegrass styles, even eights, swing eights, waltzes, and also a variety of rock styles. And for each one, it shows the tempo range, in many cases, a huge tempo range. This is because Band in a Box will take the tempo of your song and will find the specific real tracks of the style that were recorded at a tempo close to the tempo that you've set in your song and will then stretch the short distance from there. That's why, for example, this jazz swing piano trio style is able to have a huge tempo range of 50 to over 250 beats per minute. I'll pick that one. I'll enter a few chords really quickly here. C minor 7, F7, B flat major 7, E flat major 7, A half diminished, D7, G minor 7, and I'll copy those eight bars, and then I'll copy all the last 16 bars. So now that we've picked this very common jazz style, we'll show you how you can set the tempo very low or very high. We'll start low at 60 beats per minute. And it sounds great with parts that were actually recorded at a slow ballad tempo. But if I change the tempo up to say 190 beats per minute, it still sounds great. And you can see the reason why is that Band in a Box has swapped in real track styles that were actually recorded at this faster tempo. Same thing if I go down to a medium swing, 140 beats per minute. Let's look at the notation for the bass for just a moment. And you can see some really cool, intricate rhythmic lines. For many people, this is exactly what they'd want for their jazz song. But for others, their tastes may lean towards simpler playing. You now have the option for many styles to pick a simple version of that style. There are ways of doing this for individual instruments or for individual songs. And we even have certain real styles that specifically load the simple variations of the real tracks. For individual instruments, you can simply go into the real tracks picker. And if there is an S in this column, that means there is a simple option, which you would select by putting a check here. Before I select this though, I'll just show you some of the other ways you can pick simple styles. In the song settings, there's an option to make all real tracks simple, if the option exists, with a simple arrangement checkbox. And finally, as I mentioned, there are specific simple real styles, and that's what we'll use for this example. Before I go into the style picker, let's look again at the beginning of this song. Now take note here, look specifically at the syncopation, the embellishments between the half notes, and the quick runs here. Well, we'll change this to a simple style and you can see the difference. I'll go into the style picker and again use the simple filter to find the jazz, piano, trio, simple style. Now we can see the syncopation, embellishment, and runs have been removed, leaving us with a much simpler style. And this particular real style loads the simple version of bass and piano. In the case of the piano, simple here means less complicated harmony, as well as less rhythmic movement.
New with Ban in a Box 2012, styles can now contain extra information. We saw in the last section a style that was made to specify simple variations for the real tracks. And some other new info that can be saved in styles are loops, custom panning, reverb, and tone controls. Here's an example of a style with custom reverb settings. We drenched the sax in reverb here. This is much more than is usually loaded for this style, but it's a sound that might sometimes be exactly what you want, in which case you could just pick this style. This here is a great example to demonstrate the new woodshed feature. When practicing, or woodshedding, a tune, it is useful for the tempo to speed up every time the section loops or the song restarts from the beginning, so you can gradually build up your, the speed of your playing. So say I heard a lick I liked here and I wanted to practice it. First of all, I'd want to loop it and slow it down so I could really learn it. I'll slow it right down to 80 beats per minute, and I'll press the loop button. Now, as I'm practicing, I'll want to gradually try to speed up. Now, I'll go to Preferences, Preferences 2, and I'll set it to increase by 5 beats per minute, and I'll have it go up by 25 beats per minute before returning back down and repeating. Now, in a real practice situation, I'd want the increase to go slower than this, but I wanted to demonstrate it going all the way up, and then back down again. We also have a good sample in the tutorial folder as well that you can look at, one of our 101 solo intros files. Right now, I'm loading up another style using the band button. Incidentally, another thing you can do with the band button is customize this list with your own most commonly used styles, putting them either at the top of the list or at the bottom. I'm also going to use this button to load the demo for this style. You can see that a green hint message has come up to warn us that we're still in woodshedding mode from our last section. Some hint messages like this are now interactive, so for example, we can click on it to turn off woodshedding mode. Now, when I play this, if I solo the guitars, you can hear that the sounds are the amp sounds the actual musicians chose when they recorded these styles. This is one of the great things about real tracks, that you not only get the great playing of these musicians, but you get their own tone. But that doesn't leave a lot of room for control on your part. Well, new with Band in a Box 2012, you can now instead choose to use the direct input signal, which is the sound that came directly from the guitar before it was put through the amp. The playing in the part is exactly the same, but it's the direct signal. To choose this DI option, you simply go into the real tracks picker. Now, if there's a Y in the DI column here, that means that there is a direct input option for that instrument and there are DI options for a huge number of electric guitars, basses, and pedal steels. This style, of course, does have that option, which means this checkbox is active. So I can simply put a check there and press Generate Track. And now we're hearing exactly the same part played by this musician, but it's the direct signal from the guitar rather than the recording of his amp sound. This now frees up you, the user, to add your own effects to this track. You can drag your tracks into any digital audio workstation and then add effects there. So I'll put Band in a Box into DAW plugin mode, which turns Band in a Box into a small, floating, always on top box, from which I can then drag into a digital audio workstation, 
in this case GarageBand, which I have open underneath. I'll drag Combo into the drop area, which prepares the audio files. And then in turn, I'll drag that into GarageBand. In the DAW plugin settings, you can specify what you want to have happen when you drag Combo. It can either be a single stereo WAV file mix of the whole band, which may be useful in some cases, or you can have it drag individual tracks, which is what I have it set to do here. So we can now see all of the individual tracks here in GarageBand. So now I'll play this. And I'm going to mute all the tracks except the one that we made with the DI guitar. I'll then double click on the track. And I'll turn off all effects that are on the track currently. And I'll add a new one. Since I've already installed and registered Amplitube, it appears here. So I'll select it. And if I click here, it brings up the main Amplitude plugin screen. We can already hear that the guitar sounds different because it's now going through the default Amplitude setting. And now we can have some fun. We can pick any of the presets in the Amplitude free menu. For example, Edgy Pop. I'll try a different one now, say a Big 800 Rhythm. And here's another one I'll try, Britpop. Now I'm liking how this one sounds, so let's bring the rest of the band back in. And of course, you're not at all limited to just using the presets. You can add effects racks individually. I'll add some delay. You can change the cabinet or adjust mic or mic placement. You can change the preamp, the amp model, or EQ. And you can add or adjust pedals. I'll add a wah-wah pedal, which you, can, which you can control here or with an external pedal if you have one. But I'll set it to auto wah. you enjoy the many new features in Band in a Box 2012 for Mac and all of the fantastic new styles in Realtrack sets 137 to 154. Have fun!